The October 7th attacks unleashed the bloodlust of Israeli society, bringing forth a seemingly unlimited wellspring of hatred for Palestinians in the besieged Gaza Strip and open, unadulterated calls for their total destruction through grotesque forms of violence. אני לא נרדם טוב בלי שאני רואה בתים קורסים בעזה. מה אני אעשה? עוד, עוד, עוד בתים, עוד מגדלים, שלא יהיה להם לאן לחזור. אגב, בתקופת התנ"ך גם היו זורים את האדמה במלח. לדעתי, צה"ל היה יכול לתת מכת פתיחה כואבת יותר, עם 100,000 הרוגים, בהתחלה, כן. Is I don't care about Gaza. I literally don't care. For all I care, they can go out and swim in the sea. I want to see dead bodies of terrorists around Gaza. I want to give the soldiers a chance. I want the chance to get the head of 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 the head. Bnei Klavim, you need to kill them, 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 and to build them there. As Israel readied for its ground invasion of Gaza, popular performers appeared at military encampments to rally the troops for a campaign of mass extermination. Meanwhile, viewers of Israel's national broadcaster were treated to this delightful pro-war anthem sung by a chorus of children. Gaza. Why? What did they because do to you? People in, Gaza, people in Gaza need to die. Is that seriously what you and think? I am, I am kill a two people Palestinian. I don't believe you did that. I am in the army in Israel. Since October 7th, TikTok has become the most popular venue for Israelis seeking to flaunt their support for the killing of Palestinians. One of the top viral trends features Israelis, including children, in blackface, lip-syncing a comedic song to mock people in Gaza who lost their electricity due to Israel's siege. In the occupied West Bank, Israeli forces began rounding up Palestinian men in droves and tortured them by forcing them to sit bound and blindfolded in open areas while listening for hours to a popular Israeli children's song. Soon the song became the basis for a national TikTok challenge as Israeli soldiers filmed themselves blasting it at kidnapped and blindfolded Palestinians. Israeli patriots answered the challenge by using their own children as props to mock the Palestinian captives. And in the middle of a shopping mall, these ultra-Orthodox Israelis got in on the fun. Israelis truly enjoyed the opportunity to humiliate Palestinians. 
Here's a group of Israeli soldiers in the living room of a family in the occupied Palestinian West Bank city of Jenin. Back in the Gaza Strip, Israelis frolicked on bicycles looted from the homes of Palestinians they destroyed. The Israelis also held dance parties inside the besieged territory. They sang nursery rhymes for their children in homes they occupied. One soldier dedicated a bombing to his daughter. And inside a destroyed Gaza school, an Israeli officer delivered what he called a Zionist humanitarian teaching lesson. Okay, I'm going to go to the next one. 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 I'm going to go to the